Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be working on my Mark 1 Focus RS and we're hopefully going to be taking off the lower sum which is what I tried to do in the last video and I think that was probably about a month ago. Time has got the better of me and I've just had other things to do so hopefully today I've booked a day off work and I'm going to get that lower sump off, get it sent over to my friend's workshop in Aylesbury and we'll get all of the threads helicoiled so that I can refit back to the car, etc, etc, etc. You know what's going on if you've watched the last video. Also, if I get time, I'm going to take off this scuttle panel here and I'm going to do the cabin filter because that's not been changed in 10 years, I reckon, maybe more. And I reckon underneath here, there's going to be a load of leaves collected up, probably spiders, maybe even a dead rat, who knows. Something exciting, if it is a dead rat, then it'll be in the thumbnail. Also, if you have a little bits and pieces to do on the car, but we'll get them done as and when I can because I may not have the time. You can't see it, but all around me here, I've just left all my tools from last time. I've just closed the garage. I couldn't be bothered to do anything. So I've had a little tidy up. We're going to get the car jacked up. We'll get underneath it. I'll show you where we're at and what we're trying to achieve. Right, enough waffling. Let's crack on. Right, so this is really awkward to film and I don't have a microphone on me. However, this is what we're looking at currently. So I need to get to the lower sump bolt. So this one here and this one up, just up there. You can see it just about, I think it won't focus in, but where the light is. And there's a couple of bolts up here, down here, all around at the front as well. So I need to get all these off just to get this lower sump off because basically what I've done is cross-threaded that's a couple of these, so I think from memory it was this one over here. Maybe I'd see because of the light, sorry. This one over here is cross threaded, and I think it was these two here. Now, I could try and re tap them, I just don't think that's going to work. I have to do it at a bigger size, but I've never done re tapping before, and I think I can see the problem. You see where the sealant is around there? I think the sealant's stuck actually in the uh, threads themselves, and this has caused the bolt to kind of just strip really. So two options, either try and re-tap these or I need to get this lower sump off and get this sent off to get machined. However, I think there's a bolt, no, I'm all right. It's just a, quite a few bolts that are gonna be really awkward. This one here by the drive shaft support. So obviously I've taken the bolts out of this, which is fine. However, I need to somehow get to that bolt up there and there's no extension. I'll have to use a wobbly bit, I guess, and try and do it that way. I'm going to give this a go, see what happens, and then I'll tell you the time now. So the time is 10.09, it said. So the time's 10.09, and I'll come back to you once I hopefully get this off. Okay, so we started the clock at 10.09, and I'm back to report that. That only took me about 20 minutes to half hour to get those bolts out. So there's eight bolts that go into the lower sump that kind of go point upwards, and then you've got ones that attach to the gearbox. So what I've done down here if I show you, is conveniently this box actually has some holes in it so I've just put the bolts in which way they go on the gearbox so they've come out of there and then I've got eight bolts that I'm just keeping hold of. Also what I've done is I quickly changed the oil filter because it was like really awkward on these cars I'll, I'll try and show you where it is. Uh, I don't know if I'll show you, it's right at the back of the engine you kind of need to go underneath, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. I'll show you next time I'm under the car but basically the oil filter is all the way around the back there you kind of need to get underneath it but I've got one of those tools one of these comes in absolutely essential on one of these cars. Some you don't need, but this car you definitely do. On the Fiesta, for example, I can just get underneath it and twist it with my hand, easy. But this one, you need that tool. We won't be going to Aylesbury today to visit my friend as he's really busy this week. So we'll probably be going at the weekend. So I'll film that in a separate video. So what I thought I'd do now, I've done the oil filter. I want to do this scuttle panel here. So I want to change the cabin filter, which is along this scuttle panel along here. I'll take it all apart and then I'll show you how sort of bad it looks. But hopefully it's not that bad. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the scuttle panel off, as you can see here. Quite a simple design. Just sort of hooks underneath the engine bay, sort of here. And then you have this rubber seal. Now, I probably could reuse this rubber seal in all fairness, and I probably will, because it's actually done me quite well. And all it does is it stops the water here and it runs off and shoots down, so it goes down to these drain areas here. However, if you look at the cabin filter, you can see that that has definitely seen better days. Let me grab that out. Yeah, so 
as you can see, I'm surprised there's not a rat in there to be honest. That is the cabin filter. Now that is probably 10 years old. That is disgusting. When you compare that to a new one, you know what a new one looks like anyway. Pretty much looks, the new one, it's gonna look like that, isn't it? I'm gonna grab the new one out, put that in. I did look down here. I thought in all fairness, that this was going to be absolutely caked in leaves and crust and mud, but you can see there, it's actually not looking that bad. Obviously rusty bolts, but it's a fold. And down here, I thought it was going to be really bad down this area, but there's no leaves or anything. So I'm actually just going to change the cabin filter and call that one a day. Right, so as we said before, that's the old. And there's the new. So, not the hardest thing in the world to change. I'm going to put the scuttle panel back on and then we're going to try and crack on with the fuel filter now. Hopefully that's just as easy. Okay, well, annoyingly the clips were broken on the scuttle panel, but it's gone back together pretty decent. You can probably see it just there, looking all right. Now, I went underneath the car, I had a look at the fuel filter and it looks like a right little pig to do. So I'm probably going to leave that for today's video. However, it is going to get changed. And just so you can see it, well, so as you can see there, when it focuses in, that we have a genuine Ford oil, uh, sorry, that we have a genuine Ford fuel filter. So in there is one. It will be going on the car at some point. However, I need to get all of this tidied up because I've made an absolute mess trying to get this sump off. But if I show you down here, here is our sump. So I need to get a new gasket, obviously. Let's go onto here. And then if I turn this round, it should be able to show you more what went wrong. So basically these are where the lower sump or the oil sump or the oil pan, whatever you want to call it, these bolts here of what I've cross-threaded. So we're going to take this to a machine shop. They are going to helicoil all of these, so then I'll be able to use whatever bolts I want. And then what we we'll do is we'll give this a nice little clean up, make sure there's no sort of cracks in it, but it looks fine to me. Get it refitted and then get the car back to working again. Just annoying because I wanted to go to that anniversary meet and I didn't get to go to it because I couldn't get this off in time. But I'll show you under the car. So now we've got the lower sump off. You can see clutch and flywheel there, or probably just the flywheel. And then here you can see all of the pistons and comrods and curly whirly drive shafts and all sorts of things here. Not that exciting, but what we do is obviously we'll give that all a good clean up. And then if I get further underneath, you can see where the stupid oil filter is at the back. So it's basically just there where my finger is behind there you can just see it through there like the white bit so it's a bit of an ass to get to because you kind of have to come all the way around here and i don't even know if i can see, i can't show you i can't see what i'm showing you but you have to go all the way up there just to do it but yeah there's a the focus rs engine nothing exciting really there so finally got that off it was a bit of an ass but it's done now so hopefully you can get all this back together soon. I'm going to go down to Aylesbury next week. Yeah, so unfortunately my friend can't help today. I was hoping he'd be able to do it today, but it's a Monday, so he's obviously at work. He said to come down at the weekend. So hopefully this Saturday I'll be taking the oil sump, or lower sump, sorry, down to him. I'll order a new gasket today. I'll get some new Victorine 300 degree sealant. I'm going to have to get some new bolts as well, because the bolts that go to the sump are shredded, or three of them are shredded, three are just made up bolts that I found in there. So I'll have to buy some new bolts, but we'll work out what size they are once we do the helicoils. And then, yeah, to be honest, we just need to get everything fitted back together and get the car driving again. So I do want to do the fuel filter. It is underneath here. It is reachable. I might try it off camera, but basically it's, it's sort of hidden up here somewhere. And it's sort of right in an awkward way. And I know I'm going to get fuel to my face. And I just don't really fancy it. And we do really need to start looking at the rust because the rust underneath here is looking pretty terrible i might do a rear subframe removal and um and get all that sorted out so what i'm going to do now is tidy up all this rubbish and by the power of editing we'll make it look good so yeah probably a short and sweet video apologies for that but it's just to sort of keep you updated on what we're doing with the focus the dipstick's pulled out by the way just because obviously we need to take the lower sump off you don't need to snap hopefully by next weekend i should have that all fitted up and running and then i could show you I, sh I won't show me fitting it because it's boring it's just a boring fitting but that means that the focus is back up and running again and then i can do a bit of work on the fiesta because i need to do a couple of videos on the fiesta now so i'm gonna go and film those so yeah as always thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumb down either way i don't care if you're new to the channel welcome along if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell notification my name's dan and i'll catch you in the next one